Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. A $1 million bond is set for a brother who uh, cut off the genitals of his ex-girlfriend's new lover. And, uh, man, a brother named Justin Foster, who's 28, uh, was arrested in Tallahassee uh, last month on charges of attempted murder. Um... And according to the Chicago Tribune, he took a plane from Atlanta to Chicago. He rented a car and drove to Des Plaines. And that's when prosecutors say Foster confronted a 22-year-old man on the street, hit him in the head with a tire iron, carved initials into his leg, and then cut off his penis. And left the man there in a pool of blood, threw the man's genitals over the fence, drove back to the airport, caught a flight back to Georgia. And the victim suffered permanent brain damage. So, I might can understand the anger of the brother or, or frustration. I, you know, I don't know all the intricate details if there was cheating involved with the sister and, and, and the brother, but we should never allow our emotions to make anybody in our life a God beside God, then we fall into polytheism, you know, no, I don't care if it's your wife, your girlfriend, no woman should have that much power in your life to make you go to that extreme, no matter how hurt you are, you know, you can overcome any situation, you know, I, I know because I've, you know, I recently got divorced after seven years and uh, of marriage and the pain that I felt uh, after that divorce was, was very painful because it's, it's not something that I wanted. Uh, and I tried to work through the situation, but, you know, it takes two. So I really had to uh, get even closer to my creator. You know what I'm saying? So um, what, what I'm saying is when we're going through extreme pain, that's a, a opportunity in our life to grow us, right? To take our life to take our our life to the next level of understanding, the next level of contemplation, the next level of of, of planning. I mean. You know, this brother, he cut off the man's genitals of his ex-girlfriend, but it's like, hey man, if they loved each other that much, just let them be with each other and, and go about life. You know, uh, if you didn't do anything wrong, the creator's always going to bless you. You know, that's life, being uh, frustrated, being disappointed. All of these different things are factors that make us stronger and better human beings. And we can't lose it in emotion because when we lose it in emotion, that's like taking your hands off of a wheel of a car, right? You will, you will crash eventually, you know, because you're not steering, right? You're not focused, right? So uh, evidently, you know, our brother... Um, he lost the will, you know, he, he went off the deep end. And uh, that's what happens um, when, when we lose uh, our train of rationale. And, uh, you know, the sister he was with, who per the report was his ex-girlfriend, you know, she found a new love. So if she found a new love, brother, you know, you just got to suck that one up, man. No woman or man is obligated to stay with the other, right? There is uh, nothing that says that uh, this person is forced to be with you for their lifetime. No, I, we don't belong to each other anyway. We all belong to our creator and don't none of us own each other. We're just there to serve each other uh, to the best of our abilities and if one feels like your service 
is not up to par, if one feels like your treatment of them is not up to par, if one of them, if one of the uh, people in a relationship feel like you are not compatible to them, well, they have that right to leave you, right? So uh, that's part of life, even though it hurts, it's painful. I can understand. I, I've been there. It's very painful. But, you know, that just means that the creator, if you did nothing wrong, he has somebody better for you. And it's a lesson in every situation in our lives, brothers and sisters. You know, you, you could be in a scenario where you catch, uh, catch somebody cheating. Okay, well, it's like, hell, if they love that other person that much uh, more to cheat on you, then let them be and go on by life, man. Some of the stuff that people get all bent out of shape over, it ain't even worth it. You just keep going, keep, keep going on, you know? So, this is a sad situation. I, I hate to uh, hear about this. Um, I don't know the role of the new boyfriend or the ex-girlfriend. It doesn't explain if there was cheating. What made the man really pop off, go off the, on the deep end like that? You know, but that just shows that it's repercussions for the man also. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we have to be careful what we're getting involved in today. You know, and who we're dealing with. You know, so it's a really sad story. But I just want y'all to be encouraged. You know, don't lose your rationale. Don't lose your emotion. Um, you know, stay prayed up. Stay focused out here because there's so much stuff going on. And, 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 you know, don't lose your sanity, you know, and, 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 and go insane because we, we uh, are, are not uh, thinking logically, right? So I just wanted to make those few points. I saw this report. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off, Pete.